Today, we're gonna improve the description of your stream with panels like this. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So panels, panels are super important for any streamer out there who is starting out. You wanna have a description or a bio below your stream that looks really neat and really awesome, full of incredible information about yourself, and then also panels that may help your viewers engage with your streams in ways that you want to, with subscription panels, donation panels, all sorts of things like that, and then just a bunch of awesome information about yourself as well. And you wanna keep your descriptions looking super neat, and the best way to do that is with panels. So your Twitch stream may look something like this. We're here on the Blabbity M Twitch channel, and if we scroll down, we're getting bored with the stream. Oh, it's empty down here. There is nothing for us. There's no panels to read. There's nothing to tell me about yourself. And if you had a panel down here that maybe talked about you and then had a subscription panel or a donation panel or something like that, there's a much bigger percentage of chance that I'm going to engage with you and maybe toss you that subscription, maybe toss you that donation when there's panels that maybe catch my eye that I can click on. So panels are extremely important. And two people that I think have the cleanest panels out of all streamers out there are Cypher PK. So if we go ahead and scroll down here, you'll see his panels are looking incredibly clean and really vibrant. That makes you just want to click on him and read what is down here. And then also we've got Ninja over on Mix so if we scroll down below his stream, you'll see we've got these really clean panels as well. Panels can be as crazy as you want or as simple as you want. I think that these clean, simple ones are the best way to go when creating panels. They're eye-catching and they're just easy to read, easy to see. And I'm going to show you exactly how to create these panels inside of Photoshop. So guys, when you open up Photoshop, you just want to create a blank document like I've got here. It's in the kind of size of a panel. You don't have to have it that way. You can crop it later, but I've just got it in that size just for fun. And let's go ahead and just make a nice just dark blue rectangle so we're going to set our colors to dark blue here and then we're just going to grab our rectangle tool and we're just going to draw a rectangle the size that we want our panel to be just like that we can go ahead and center it in here just like that and then we're going to come over here and we're just going to duplicate that uh, rectangle and we're going to click on it and we're just going to change the color of this one to maybe like a more bright blue so let's go in here let's do a bright blue like that and then we're just going to make sure we're on that bright blue one. We're going to edit free transform and we're going to turn this one more into a square kind of like that. Beautiful. Just like that. Now we can put our text in here. Let's say we want it to say um, my schedule and we are uh, we're blue so we can't really see it. Let's change it to a white just like that. I don't really like this font here. Let's change it to a font that I like. I really like the Gotham font. So let's go with Gotham. Hmm. Let's go with Gotham black, just like that. Beautiful. And then we can change the color of words if we want. So let's change schedule to yellow, just like that. Beautiful. And then we just want to search Google images or search any kind of website where you can either buy an icon pack or get free, easy to use icons. Um, you can go anywhere online and just search for icons and then you can just bring it into Photoshop here. So I'm just gonna place in this clock icon here that I've got that's already white and we can just place it over there and boom, we have just recreated Ninja's panels. Just like that. How long was that? Like a minute, two minutes. And if we go back to Google here, boom, there we go, we've got, uh, where's Ninja's schedule? There we go, we've got my schedule here. You see what that looks like? Go back to Photoshop, boom. You've pretty much recreated Ninja's panels just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this because I've already created it for you guys. So here we have Ninja's panel created inside of Photoshop with completely editable text. And we've also got a bunch of different icons for you. So we've got the clock icon here for schedule. We've got the info icon. We've got a star icon for subscribing, uh, donations, anything. We've got a smartphone icon for socials. And we've got a heart icon also for subscribing or donating. But then I didn't stop with just ninjas. We've also over here got Cypher's stream panel recreated inside of Photoshop. We've got the star. We've got the heart all in the yellow of his. We've got the same info. we got the clock icon. And you can change this to be whatever you want. And then you've got the completely edited editable text as well. So I am going to be providing these Photoshop files for you guys. If you would like to create your own panels in the style of Ninja or Cypher PK down in the description, you can download these Photoshop files and you can edit this to say donations or whatever you want. And you can change the star to a heart just like that, or you can bring in your own icons. And when you bring in your own icons, all you got to do is double click on the icon 
open up your layer styles and maybe set a cover color overlay to the yellow color that you see here it's that simple to bring in your own icons and place them right here you can easily change the color of the rectangle in the background you see if i turn this rectangle on and off we can click into the rectangle and we can add a color overlay and make this whatever color you want so if you want a blue cypher pk just like that and let's say we want this black outline to be white so the rectangle copy right above it you just want to double click on there go up to the color overlay and boom we can set this to be a white thing just like that a white outline and boom we've completely changed the uh completely changed what it looks like you can do everything with the color overlays so let's go into the heart set a color overlay of red and just like that you've changed that and then we've got another rectangle down here let's set the uh, color overlay to red on that rectangle as well and boom you've customized cypher pk's uh, panels just for your stream you can then do the same thing with ninjas as well you come in here and you got the rectangles to change the colors of you got the text to edit to say whatever you want you got the heart you got the smartphone you got all this stuff you can change the color overlay of everything and then you just export them as pngs and you put them inside of your stream but guys i did not stop there if you do not own Photoshop and you'd still like to use these panels down in the description you can download that same link where you would get the Photoshop files and when you open them up you'll realize we've got ninja panels we've got pre-exported ones just like that ready to drop into your stream that look just like ninjas panels we've got donate rules schedule social media and subscribe and if we go back to the streamer panels you'll see we've got ciphers as well donate rules schedule socials and subscribe already made for you and if you bring them into any kind of free photo editing software or even video editing software that you can export photos you can just open them up just like this and then just apply a hue shift to them some sort of hue and saturation and mess with the hues and get whatever colors you want so if you want colors like that boom you can change the colors without even using photoshop any kind of file any kind of program that can do a hue shift you can change the colors to be whatever you want just like that or you can leave them the ninjas colors if you really just want to completely rip them off but i suggest you change it a little bit or download the photoshop files open them up in photoshop if you can and customize them from there but guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you jump down into the description and download these photoshop files so you can have your own panels that look really clean below your stream i'd love to see how you guys customize these the color selections that you choose the icons that you bring in how you change the text everything i'd love to see it so make sure you're reaching out to me on twitter and posting to me what you create with these panel templates but i hope you guys enjoy the video once again i do try to stream every sunday and tuesday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity so make sure you're stopping by and dropping a follow and catching a stream if you can but i will see you guys in the next video peace out